Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, last class we discussed uh, the circuit component. We started with logic gates. The second component we will discuss is known as a diode. The internal working, you don't have to go through the internal working. There is a, There are reasons why the specific component is behaving in the manner, but you don't have to go through the internal working, only how it works in a circuit that you have to understand. So diode, this first the circuit symbol for the diode. The circuit symbol for the diode is a triangle and a vertical line. This is a simple diode, but some of the diodes, when we are using them in a circuit, when it is working, it tend to emit out light. We also call them as LEDs, light emitting diode. So only difference in the symbol for light emitting diode and the normal diode, because it is emitting out light or giving out light. So how we represent it is emitting out light. So we represent by arrows, which are pointing out. So this one is normal diode symbol, where the second one is light emitting diode, also known as LED. The working principle is same, both work in the same manner, but the only difference, one of the diode is emitting out light when it is working, and the second diode is not emitting out any light. Then purpose, why we use the, this diode in the circuit the main purpose of the diode is used as rectifier rectifier means convert ac to dc means it or we can also say it allow current to flow in one direction. <coughs> so only one way the diode will allow the current to pass and the other way does not allow. Then how it works, the working of a diode. Look, it's easy to understand the working of a diode Using this uh, symbol of the diode, you can understand it's working. For example, as you are uh, using videos or watching videos, what is this symbol for? On the video, you will find the symbol. What is this symbol used for? Play. So actually, it is a symbol for play. This is a symbol for play. And what is this symbol for the two parallel lines? Pause. That's for pause. So when I combine these two together, when I combine play and pause together, what it become? It will become a symbol of diode. So why it's play and pause? Basically what happened, when the current enter from the direction of the play, it will allow the current to pass, a current can flow. But if a current is coming from the direction of the pause or the wall, what will happen? It will block the current. So, Example, if a current is moving or flowing through the direction of the play, so what diode will do? It will allow the current to pass. So basically, it allow the current to flow through a direction of a play, but if current is coming in opposite direction, <coughs> or current is flowing through the opposite direction,
so if current is flowing through the opposite direction it will block that current or it will not allow that current to flow or it will stop that current so one way it allow the current to pass then the other way it block the current to pass so if diode is there in the circuit it will only allow the current to flow in one way that's why we call that diode if current can flow in one way that's current is known as dc so simply we say a diode can be used as a rectifier or convert ac to dc is it clear so the purpose of the diode is allow the current to flow in one way or one direction copy this part then i'll explain how we can use diode in a circuit so how a diode is converting ac to dc example you have an ac supply i will draw the circuit twice because ac supply the current continuously changes the direction as well as the magnitude and the diode is placed in the circuit so we have an ac supply the same circuit i am drawing again uh, because for ac or alternating current the direction of the current continuously changes the magnitude as well as the direction both changes for ac this is a circuit symbol for ac supply example left hand side is positive right hand side is negative so what will be the direction of the conventional current the conventional current is always from positive to negative so as the current is flowing from positive to negative what will happen to the diode it will allow the current to pass so because the current is flowing through a direction of the play if the current is moving from the direction of the play it will allow so the current will flow but because it's an ac supply so next moment left hand side will be negative and right hand side is positive so what happen as the current is moving from positive to negative the diode will allow this current to pass yes or no so it will not allow the current to pass it will block that current because it is moving so if current is blocked by the diode no current is entering the circuit so one case it allow the current to pass through and the other case it block the current so 
it allow only if the circuit contain a diode it only allow the current to flow in one direction or one way when the current is allowed to flow in one way what we use the term we call rectification rectification means it is converted to one way or the ac current is changed into dc is it clear the working of a diode in a circuit the next circuit component is known as thermistor the circuit symbol you have to learn the symbol for these components the circuit symbol for thermistor because actually it's the combination of two words it's like thermal and resistor so thermal resistor is actually known as thermistor so when we take therm from thermal and from resistor we took i s t e r so it will become thermistor so basically it's a heat resistor heat resistor means its resistance changes with the heat or temperature and this is a circuit symbol across and a horizontal line what is the purpose the purpose it is used in because it is a heat resistor or its, its resistance changes with temperature so it is used in temperature sensing circuit like some of the circuits are working at different temperatures so which component is effective for that circuit thermistor how it works the working of a thermistor it's the thermistor resistance changes with temperature it is semiconductor when we say semiconductor it can allow the current to pass but not too much that's why it is known as semiconductor it is semiconductor how it works when the temperature increase the resistance of thermistor decreases and when temperature decrease the resistance of thermistor will increase So basically, its resistance changes with the temperature. They are inversely proportional. The temperature and resistance of a thermistor. If there is an increase in temperature, the resistance will decrease. And if there is a decrease in temperature, the resistance will increase. Why the resistance increase and decrease? That reason. There is a reason for that. But for O levels, they will not ask that reason. So only you have to learn the working of thermistor in a circuit. not internal why it happened why the resistance is decreasing as the temperature increase i will explain that but that's not the part of the syllabus the syllabus or the course outline only they will ask or question you regarding how a thermistor is used in the circuit so later i will discuss like why it happened now before explaining the working of this thermistor in the circuit example if you have two resistors they are connected in series so two resistors are connected in series example they have equal resistance when 
the resistors are connected in series the voltage will divide and this kind of circuit is known as voltage divider circuit the circuit which divides the voltage example you have two resistors both have the same resistance this one is 100 ohm this one is also 100 ohm and you have a 20 volt supply here because they are in series in series the current is same the voltage divide between the component if the two resistors have the same resistance what will happen to the 20 volt what will be the voltage across say r1 and voltage across r2 the voltage across r1 will be 10 that's right and voltage across r2 will also be 10 because they have equal resistance so the voltage will divide equally and this kind of circuit is known as voltage divider circuit. Now, if I change the value for the resistance, example, this one is 20 ohms, and this one, sorry, this one is 200, R2 is 200 ohm, and R1 is 100 ohm. Now, which resistor will have more voltage, greater voltage? Which one will have greater voltage, R1 or R2? R2 is 200 ohms, R1 is 100 ohms. Like which one more voltage or more energy is used up? Because R2 is having a high resistance, so most of the energy will be used up here. So if we say V2 and we compare V2 with V1, so in this case, the voltage across R2 will be more than voltage across R1. So basically in series, the resistor, which is having a high resistance will have more voltage drop. So same concept is used in a thermistor circuits, a circuit which include a thermistor. So how it works, basically you have a fixed resistor. I will draw the circuit twice because there are two conditions which I want to discuss for this explanation. This is the same circuit. The space is limited. So next page, I will use that to draw the circuits, including a thermistor and a fixed resistor. Example, we have a circuit in which there's a thermistor and a fixed resistor connected in series. So when two or more resistors are connected in series, this type of circuit is known as voltage divider circuit because it divides the voltage between the component. Example, the total voltage is V. Now, if the temperature is high,
if the temperature is high what about the resistance of thermistor the resistance of thermistor will be if temperature is high the resistance resistance and temperature of a thermistor are inversely proportional so if the temperature is high the resistance will be low so what happen if you have a bell or a buzzer is connected here example a buzzer is there or a bell is there so when the temperature is high the resistance of thermistor is low so here the resistance will be low in comparison the resistance of fixed resistor will be high arrow up me does not means the resistance of fixed resistor is increasing it means that comparison is there we are comparing the two resistance here the resistance is low but resistance of fixed resistor is high so which one will have a greater voltage across it the fixed resistor or the low uh, or the thermistor which one will have a greater voltage across it the fixed resistor this one is a fixed resistor and right hand side is a thermistor so fixed resistor will because it comparatively resistance of fixed resistor is high as the temperature is high the resistance of a thermistor is low so it means more voltage will be there across the fixed resistor and less voltage will be there across the thermistor and thermistor and bell or buzzer are connected in parallel so they it will also have low voltage that low voltage is not sufficient or enough to ring this bell or a buzzer so the buzzer or the bell will be off if i use a number to explain this like example if there was a 10 volt supply when the temperature is high the resistance of a thermistor is low and in comparison resistance of a fixed resistor is high so the voltage divide between them like example maybe 9 volts across the fixed resistor and only 1 volt is across thermistor and that 1 volt is not sufficient to ring the bell or the buzzer that's why it will be off so when the temperature is high this circuit will not respond but what happen if the temperature decreases if there is a decrease in temperature so if the temperature decrease the resistance of thermistor will increase as the resistance of thermistor will increase so the resistance here will be high across the of the thermistor and in comparison the resistance will be low the resistance of fixed resistor is constant but it's a comparison like example if i use a number here so this was 90 ohm example and this was 10 ohms but now what happened this will remain 90 but this resistance increases example 180 because as the temperature decrease the resistance will increase as the resistance increase which component will have more voltage thermistor or the fixed resistor which component will have more voltage across it the thermistor will receive or have more voltage so more voltage drop across the thermistor and small voltage drop across the fixed resistor so and thermistor and uh, the buzzer the bell are in parallel to each other so there will be more voltage across this bell or a buzzer and it will work or it will ring the bell so if there was a 10 volt supply the voltage divided because the ratio is 1 is to 2 so example here the voltage is say 6.6 6 
and so in comparison the voltage will be 3.33 so this voltage is sufficient as this voltage is sufficient more voltage across the thermistor means more voltage across the buzzer so the buzzer will ring so according to this circuit it is sensing a temperature which temperature it is sensing a high temperature or low temperature like this circuit is the bell or the buzzer is ringing at which condition when the temperature is high or temperature is low so when the temperature is low this circuit is working that's why this is known as low temperature sensing circuit and if i want to make a high temperature sensing circuit so simply what i have to do i have to just change the position of a buzzer and i should place the buzzer across the fixed resistor because when i place the buzzer across a fixed resistor at what condition it will work like you have so this is a fixed resistor and thermistor this time i connect a buzzer next to the fixed resistor and now the buzzer is connected next to the fixed resistor so what happen example if the temperature is high if the temperature is high the resistance of thermistor will be low so as the resistance of the thermistor is low when the temperature is high so when we compare this the division of the voltage so resistance here will be low resistance of fixed resistor is high so if resistance is high more voltage across the fixed resistor and less voltage across thermistor so if more voltage there will be more voltage across the buzzer so the buzzer will be on or the bell will ring but if the temperature is low so if the temperature is low the resistance of the thermistor will be high how the temperature increased uh, this is the temperature of the surrounding so surrounding temperature can increase due to different reasons like if the weather become hot or if they in case of a fire 
so it, there are many possibilities so this is the surrounding temperature so what happen if the temperature is low the resistance of a thermistor will be low in comparison sorry if temperature is low the resistance of thermistor will be high in comparison the resistance of fixed resistor will be low so less voltage across the fixed resistor more voltage across the thermistor and if less voltage across fixed resistor less voltage small volt amount of voltage drop across the buzzer or the bell and it will be off so which temperature sensing circuit is this because it is working or indicating a high temperature so this is a high temperature sensing circuit is it clear the working of a thermistor the change in the temperature will cause the change in resistance and due to the change in the resistance the circuit will work at different temperatures any doubt in this part so ldr is also a similar one uh, so you can copy this later from the recording i will explain uh, ldr light dependent resistor ldr stands for light dependent resistor the ldr also it's a semiconductor uh, the symbol for ldr there is a fixed because it's a resistor its resistance depends on the light intensity and the arrows should point in shows that when there is a light the resistance will change the purpose why we use this uh, it is used in temperature sensing circuit sorry light sensing circuit by mistake and how it works a working when greater light intensity the resistance will be low for ldr and when it is dark or low light intensity the resistance will so the resistance will be high that's how it works for example you will find that street lights automatically switched on when it get dark at sunset so what is the reason for that the reason is there is a component which is connected known as ldr or light dependent resistor and it is sensing the surrounding uh, light intensity and example with this connected a bulb not next to this like parallel to this connected a street lamp or a bulb the working of ldr is similar to that of a thermistor but the only difference between them one of them is working with a light intensity like changing the light intensity changes the resistance 
where the second one work with the temperature, the thermistor resistance changes with temperature, where LDR, the resistance changes with light intensity. And example, in parallel, a street lamp is connected. Now, if there is a daytime, during the daytime, what about the light intensity? It will be high or low? Daytime, in the morning. So the light intensity will be high. As the light intensity is high, what about the resistance of the LDR? It is outside, street lamps or lights are placed outside on the street. So the resistance of LDR will be low. If resistance of LDR will be low, less voltage across LDR. If less voltage across LDR, it means less voltage across the bulb or the lamp and this lamp will be off. That's why at, during the daytime, the street lights remain off. But as it gets darker at night, what happened? The light intensity decreases. As the light intensity decreases, the resistance of LDR increases. If resistance of LDR increases, more voltage across LDR. As more voltage across LDR, more voltage across the bulb, and that bulb will be on. So automatically, the street lights, street lamps or lights switch on automatically when it gets dark because they are connected in parallel to the light dependent resistor or LDR. So LDR basically used in a light sensing circuit like street lights are the best example for using this circuit component LDR. Is it clear the working of this circuit? So you can see it is similar to that of a thermistor. The difference there was thermistor was working with temperature and the circuit with LDR is working with the light intensity. This is a dark sensing circuit like when it is getting a dark, it will work. If you want to make it resistance and voltage are directly proportional to each other. That's right. If the circuit if series circuit in parallel the volt because all the components have the same voltage so resistance and voltage does not have any relation in the parallel combination so it depends on the type of the circuit like what is the type of circuit if there's a series circuit because the resistance and voltage res voltage is divided so it depends on the resistance of the component but in parallel all receive the same voltage it's independent of the resistance of the component